The 8th Cadian Regiment is one of the most famous units fighting against the countless abomination of chaos and defending the gate closing the Eye of Terror. Or at least, it was before the destruction of Cadia itself. Let's revive the legend with this command squad the Jotoyas released a while ago. Five figures that look like a closer production of the miniatures. Let's Cadia stand in front of us. Ok, I would have loved to see a commissar among the many Cadians Joy Toy is releasing, but for now a sergeant with power fist will show us how a Cadian stands. It reminds me of a Cadian variant of Popeye, but besides that he looks nice despite the lack of variety of any highlights on the armor, leather parts or any other places. Then we have the huge bolt pistol and the famous big hands that are a trademark for these kind of figures. Let's attach the power backpack and play a bit with the power fist. They are connected through this cable. Usual peg and hole technique and then a nice surprise with the ability to rotate the fist, finally. Talking about articulations, the right arm is fine, but the power fist is impeded by the cable. You could not expect the same level, of course, but who really rotates the arm 360 degrees these days? I think it is a nice addition. A great fit for the overall appearance of a hardened veteran sergeant with his lit cigar. All war stereotypes are at play here. Moving to legs, I like the double joints. Moving forwards and especially backwards is very good, so posing while running and walking will be easy. Nice for charging the enemy. There is some light brown washing around the recesses in the trousers and the arms, but not really much. Overall, the painting is okay. Because of the sculpting, it does not look as plain as a Space Marine would look in the same situation. The face sculpt is well made and color painting is clean and with good contrast. Not many special effects, but the overall result is very good. Pistol does not look especially different from normal bolt pistols, but those big hands have no problems in handling it. Ok, it snapped off, but you'll see the bolt peg and it is easy to place it back. Ok, time to give a look at him in action and I want to pose him like leading the charge of his men. Come on boys, don't you want to live forever? After unboxing all of them, this is what we have from the boxes. That flag looks spectacular, but I already know that the Vox guy will be my favorite in this set. Anyway, you can see that these Cadian hands are huge compared to the Scions. Let's take a closer look at the Commander now. Green in face and the Mohawk haircut that I honestly don't like, but overall again, the Commander is also quite unique and well made. At close range, the paint-up is quite lacking, quite plain, but when you put them on the shelf and observe them without a microscope, they are pretty good looking. The commander has a small power sword attached to the wrist, with this flexible power cable, nothing that will make it hard to wield it, but of course you cannot use it with another figure. In theory, he could wear the helmet, but it is pretty much impossible because of the big ears. The result is pretty exhilarating, but I will try heating it with a hair dryer later. It should make the plastic soft enough to fit it just fine. Articulations for legs this time are limited by this long coat. You can't run the 100 meters, but it is still enough to do some limited running poses. Overall, the appearance is peculiar to the figure and the entire set has some nice variations. The black boots are plain without much details, but the sculpt can still carry the day. Arms articulations are the same as for the other human figures, 
with the limitation of the shoulder armor plates. Nothing really annoying since he has the pistol and the sword, so you can make it work just fine. Let's plug the backpack on and here is our commander leading the charge. Let's move out. Ok, finally time to look at the veteran with the master box, which is the strange radio apparatus with embedded teleprinter or notebook, I'm not really sure here. But it looks super cool, same general uniform as the other guys, but these nice harness connected to the backpack really make a difference. No idea how this works, but our radio man is the coolest of the group. And he probably has the largest hands in the group, or at least it looks like that. He also has an helmet for you to attach to the bottom of the backpack. No way to wear it. I can imagine him communicating with the high command and the commander while staying defiant under fire, occasionally shooting at some enemies while he gets bored. What about us? Let's get back to the normal figures with the veteran with medipack, because Cadians are cool, but they still get wounded and need care. A big backpack, a white pauldron and a bag with the tools of trade are its own main selling point. Ah no, he also has two rifles. The one with the holster that you can also extract with a little bit of an effort. Come on, yes, we can do that. Yeah. Then the same rifle but with the strap, so you have an option here. This one is your default if you intend to shoulder the weapon, otherwise the other rifle seems the better option if you want to aim and fire. He also has a saw, which I don't plan to use, but it is free, so I can't complain. Let's make him run towards some comrade that requires help and save some lives. But with the rifle in hand, because this is 40k, not a Red Cross promotional video. But the 8th Cadian Regiment's command squad can't exclude the veteran with the regimental banner. Another hardened guy, but not much different look wise helmet and laser rifle and some other cosmetic differences like the pouches on the chest. And talking of the banner, here it is in all of its splendor. To be honest it looks a bit too clean and immaculate, but maybe they got a replacement just before being packaged in the box. It is quite rigid and like for the science there is a transparent stand that makes it very easy for our guy to hold the banner high. The sisters of battle are quite jealous, I guess. And finally, it is time to stand with the flank banner, and why not, take some shots to the never-ending waves of enemies of mankind. While we wait for more releases like uh, infantry dreams for creating crowded battlefields and maybe even vehicles, let's look at the entire set now. All considered, and given my preference for the look over the extreme articulations, I am positively impressed. They are good fits side to side to science, who are elite teams, but the Cadian 8th Regiment is a glorious unit too. They are just a tad smaller than the blue guys, but quite larger than other 118 figures. For example, the poor Krieg Medic and the Marauders look quite skinny when compared side to side. So, for me, it is a positive pass. 
They are not perfect, but fit the role on my shelf perfectly. The normal human soldiers that fight the orders of the enemies with their courage and, soon, their heavy weapons and vehicles. If you are a fan of the Imperial Army, these must be yours. Well, that's all I have to say. Have a nice rest of the day and don't forget to like and subscribe like a proud Cadian.